Try to find the sunny side of life. Hi, I'm Harry Marks, and this is Let's All Go to the Lobby, your introduction to the film you're about to watch. Up next is Alfred Hitchcock's taut thriller about a case of mistaken identity and a daring chase across Mount Rushmore. This is 1959's North by Northwest. North by Northwest is a movie all about relationships. There's, of course, the tense romance between its stars, Cary Grant and Eva Marie Saint, but also the relationships behind the scenes that helped bring the film to fruition. It was Hitchcock's partnership with composer Bernard Herrmann that led to him meeting screenwriter Ernest Lehman. Herrmann had introduced the two in 1958, believing they'd get along well. And he was right. Hitch and Lehman had started working on a film together called The Wreck of the Mary Deer before Lehman was hit with writer's block. Hitchcock mentioned he'd been tinkering with another idea for a film about a man mistaken for a spy, and it involved a chase along Mount Rushmore. So they abandoned their original script and got to work on what would become North by Northwest, refusing to tell the studio until much later. But their deception worked out in the end. MGM handed the wreck of the Mary Deer to Around the World in 80 Days director Michael Anderson instead. Casting North by Northwest was a bit tricky. Jimmy Stewart, who had already starred in four previous Hitchcock films, wanted to play the lead role of Roger Thornhill, but Hitch wanted someone more stylish and charming for the part, namely Cary Grant. But he also didn't want to offend Stewart, so he waited until the actor had signed on to a different film before officially offering the role to Grant. As for the part of Eve Kendall, MGM wanted Sid Charisse for the role, but Hitchcock insisted on casting Eva Marie Saint, who was fresh off a performance in Raintree County alongside Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor. The director is quite adamant about getting certain actors and even specific shots he wanted, even when he was told no. The United Nations headquarters in New York, for example, refused to allow him to film anywhere on the premises, even in the outside plaza. But that didn't stop him from getting the shot he needed. He simply parked himself and his camera in a truck across the street and secretly filmed Cary Grant walking into the building. As for the famous crop duster scene where Cary Grant is terrorized by a low-flying airplane, that was a bit easier to film. Grant was shot on a set by himself diving in front of the camera. The plane was filmed separately and the footage was projected behind the actor to make it look like he was being attacked. And the sequence involving the oil truck explosion was done with miniatures. A little more complicated than filming from the back of a truck, but a lot less of a legal hassle. And so here it is, the film often cited as the first James Bond film, and the one that inspired the helicopter chase sequence in From Russia With Love, starring Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, and James Mason, with appearances by Edward Platt, Leo G. Carroll, and Martin Landau, all of whom went on to star in their own spy TV shows. Platt played the chief on Get Smart, Carroll played Mr. Waverly on The Man From U.N.C.L.E., and Landau starred on Mission Impossible. From MGM and Alfred Hitchcock, here's 1959's North by Northwest.